What's up, Internet? My name's Ian Bloom. I'm a certified financial planner and huge nerd. In today's episode, we are going to be covering why bonds. Are bonds worth it? And I wanted to bring this up because recently I've gotten some questions from individuals that I've met with and actually some other advisors alike about why bonds are important in a portfolio given the low interest rates and rates of return we can expect from bonds. I mean, yields are super, super low. So the question is, why would you invest in bonds in the first place? So let's talk about building a, a portfolio. When you build an investment portfolio, you, as I mentioned in my last video, you don't just want like investments. You want investments from different categories from one another. The reason that you want that is because really investments will do different things at different times if they're from different categories. Sounds simple, makes sense, right? When stocks are up, bonds are actually slightly negatively correlated to stocks, so they're likely to be down. And when stocks are down, bonds are likely to either be down less or be up some. And so the reason that we utilize these balancing mechanisms like bonds in a portfolio is not because we're expecting tons of return from them. In fact, bond funds tend to have way lower average returns than stock funds. The reason that we're utilizing them is because in a down year in the market, what we want to be able to still do is rebalance. Rebalancing is this idea that if we have one investment that's up slightly and one investment that's down slightly, we can sell a little bit of the up investment and buy a little bit of the down investment for much, much cheaper. And so that's actually a good way to increase the amount of shares or holdings that you have in your portfolio and watch those values go back up when that down investment does start to trickle back upward. See, this is a way to increase the value of your portfolio with almost no additional investment. So that is why we utilize these balancing effects. But then also it has the effect of smoothing the volatility of the stock market. See, if you were to invest 100% in small cap stocks, for instance, your um, investment portfolio would look somewhat like a heart rate monitor. It would be spiking and falling repeatedly. Now, what we're able to do by having this diverse array of investments is not necessarily guarantee that we're only going to trend upward because that's not something that we can do. That's not how investing works. But what we can what we can expect is that the line as it goes upward will have fewer peaks and valleys or less dramatic peaks and valleys than it would if we were invested, let's say, in all small cap stocks. So that is why we use some of these balancing effects like bonds, other ones that are commonly utilized could be real estate or commodities, um, but generally having these slightly lower returns, slightly less volatile or negatively correlated investments to stocks tend to help out the portfolio for the goals that I am looking to achieve. So that that's some of my rationale. I hope that this video was helpful to you and it helps explain why investment professionals tend to recommend a diverse portfolio instead of, let's say, going all in on Tesla. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.